as in SQL uh, transform, which is a source transform, which is you're passing into a database. So you have to do this. And if it is a number, you can always give a square bracket. And if it is a uh, if it is a character, then you will have to give a curly bracket. So right now, I mean, if it is in curly brackets and you pass a number, nothing hurts. So I'm going to use it now. So if I say update schema, it just uh, is going to blow. The reason is this particular global variable. So the one important thing is you first create the schema and when you want to make it as a global variable, again, do not validate it because it's going to fail. When there is a global variable, it is going to fail. So in most cases, what we'll do is we'll enable the where condition only in the at the last. If you wanted to comment it out, it is the same double, uh, what is it? Double dash. If you put, oh, it's still failed. Oh, no, sorry. I'm sorry. It is a hash. So it is grayed out now. You see now it, it is not going to throw any errors. And when the schema is ready, then you can uh, enable the where class. What I mean by enabling the where class is just remove that uh, hash symbol whichever you have put so that the where class is enabled and and save it. So we successfully created. At a data uh, a data flow using SQL uh, query as SQL transform as our source, and now we can run this job. And at the runtime, we'll have to initialize that uh, region ID if we wanted to pass some value. For that, we'll have to <laughs> excuse me. For that, we'll have to first uh, define the global variable, or else it's going to fail on this. And also, we haven't mapped anything, so it, it should be asking you to map it. So you don't have anything on the target because we didn't put anything. So now it has been mapped, and I wanted to do a, a filtering here. The one important thing I want you to understand, the putting a filter here is different from putting a filter here. Why I say that is, when you do it in a SQL transform and you have a filter there, it is going to be filtered in the source database and you get the data out from it. Whereas if you put a filter in the query transform, the data is going to be still read from the table and then it will try to filter and pass it to the next transform. So there is that small difference always. But anyhow, if you go and look at the validation, this is the very important thing. It cannot generate an optimized SQL for you. When you use SQL transform as a source, if you go and validate, it will not generate you. And that's the reason you do not have an optimization inside data services. All it does is on the database. The output of this query will be extracted and passed into data services. So you don't know how many records are getting filtered in the source. If you use a query transform and filter it here, you'll always see it. We are going to run this job and I will show you that. So I will make the same uh, as part of uh, this folder and I'm going to run this job but when I want to run this job surely it is going to fail because I don't have one global variable but you see it is not asking me for the global variable the reason is it's, it is inside the SQL transform so data services has no way to validate this event that's how you are restricting the tool. So this it cannot validate even if the global variable is available or not because it is inside a SQL transform. It is a very uncomfortable situation. But now we are going to just run the job just that we know it is going to fail. It is going to fail because it doesn't have a value. It doesn't have the global variable that is being declared. So it failed. Now it says uh, referencing to an undeclared variable. So just that I, I wanted to show you that it's going to fail. It failed. Now I'm going to define the global variable. What I need to do is I say insert go into properties and put the global variable, make it an integer, that's fine. And now you want to run the job again. While you run the job, you can actually filter the data based on this global variable. This is the new global variable which I defined. Let me get a relevant value for the global variable. So we have the region ID, one as a null, one as, I mean, you have one, two, three, four as numbers. So 
whatever you want to pass, you can actually uh, do that. I will say two. And now if I run the job, it ran. And it would have extracted only these four records. But I will show you if I put the same filter outside what it is going to do. Now all you are seeing is that your source has only four records that came in here. And it got, it got inserted here. We will see the difference here. Let me make one other data flow. I'm naming it as a DBSRC so that I'm giving a database as a source. So in here, I wanted to do the regular way, which is uh, we we saw it many times that we take it as a source and this query. So sometimes if I don't rename the query, even you follow the naming convention, guys. Only I will do it to some extent because. I don't want to kill the time in class just by uh, typing. So when I have this, I am going to define the same filter here, but you will see the difference. That's what I wanted you to understand that SQL uh, transform is use it very restricted only when you cannot do such an operation or you don't have that function in data services then go for uh, using it in the source filter or if, if you are very certain that you don't need certain values to be bought into uh, your uh, your stage environment then only you can use that so now i i have given the same thing but i'm going to uh, let me validate it is fine and now I'm going to run the same job. You'll you'll notice the difference in the global variable. I'm also making this as a two again. The job is running. We'll go into the monitor tab and see what is happening. Both has extracted four records only, but this one will give you an optimized sequence. See here, and the where class is here. So it has extracted what we wanted to, and it did not uh, waste any resources there. So always use optimized SQL so that you see what is happening. Here you will not see what is happening even at the runtime, it won't display you anything. And there is also going to be one other difference here because I did not use any kind of a transformations, it just gave me what I want. But if I use a certain transformation, you will see like 12 records are getting read from the source and only 4 records pass to the target. That is also we can see. That situation if I wanted to show you, maybe I use a very complex uh, transform here. But instead of using a transform, I wanted to use a lookup now. Let me show you what is a lookup and why do we need it. Today we are also going to learn the lookup. But for... Uh -huh. I mean here performance wise if you see from source to stage when they are heterogeneous environments you don't see much performance difference but when it is when it is your stage to target don't use the SQL transform surely it is going to be a performance difference I will show you why I say that because because now we are using MySQL as our source and target so it doesn't show much difference but when you use Oracle it is going to show it in a different way. It will generate a full optimized SQL that it will have an insert into select star from which is it will do a database merge. Instead of getting data into data services and doing it, it will everything will happen inside a database which is a more faster and sophisticated way of building a job. But that is only we'll come across it when we uh, when we do the uh, performance optimization or tuning. We, we will see that. For now, just uh, believe in whatever I say and later you will experience the difference. 
believe in whatever i say that don't use the sql transform unless you are forced to use saying there is no particular uh, particular uh, uh, what is it uh, function in the data services that is in your database and you want it to use for example rank over partition you want it to rank the data and pick up uh, whoever came first in a class for that you don't have a functionality in data services if you go and uh, look here for functions you will not uh, find the same function that you have in database for ranking i mean in recent uh, recent times they have given function a rank i think in data services also but let me confirm um, let me make sure before i tell that we have it okay i i don't think we have it a rank will be a number function so in math functions i'll have to go and see you have random rand uh, ext round all this but you don't have a ranking i mean though there are number of ways that you can rank in data services and then get it but if you are feeling comfortable that you wanted to rank it on the source write a complex query uh, and then execute it yes that is fine do it from source to stage i i say uh, it is okay to use the sql transform when you are moving data from source to stage from stage to target don't use the sql transform and i will show you why is it very important but i will have to use oracle uh, as my database to show you that because oracle allows you to, uh, the merge i'm going to show you definitely all those options on the target currently you don't have the allow merge statement here but oracle does that i will show you so for now let, let us uh, uh, strictly go with whatever we see in mysql and and uh, let me show you more transformations so in the same same job i'm going i wanted to use more transforms and show you <coughs> so that you make use of it so in here i have extracted my data and i have loaded into a stage table after i load into okay here is one other important thing before even going forward i wanted to show you now i have profiler on my machine 